at what arrived. We've only been talking about this for the last three years. And while, and while options for casual SPD shoes, they've always kind of existed. And to be quite frank, quite honest, um, they're not like overly expensive, but the thing that has always, always held me back from ordering a pair, taking the plunge, is the fact that none of these companies ever had an economical way of shipping to Canada, where I reside. So while the price itself for a pair of these, which I bought, the DRZ, DZR, is actually pretty reasonable, anytime I was ready to take the plunge, and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do it get to shipping and you almost double the cost. And it's like... To which in a previous video, when I called Adidas out for not making enough of the Velo Samba, that shoe, I think I would have been okay with. Because in its case, it's like, okay, that's a really good looking shoe. It's gonna look better on the bike than any of the other options on the market. I'll pay the premium, but for something I've never seen, something I've never tried, something I don't see a lot of people riding, it's a lot harder to make that. It's just harder to make that jump. Thankfully, someone in that video let me know that uh, DZR now has Canadian suppliers, therefore shipping significantly more reasonable. So I bought a pair. These might look, it might look new, but I've, I've, I mean, I've already tried them on, obviously. But you gotta get, you gotta get that unboxing experience. YouTube, baby. Not a bad looking shoe, right? So, so these, this shoe here, this is the right shoe. Two bolt Shimano uh, mountain bike cleat compatible. This is kind of what I've been looking for. It's always existed. The price, oh, anyway. It is the Cove in size 43. They call this color Midnight Black. Um, it's more of a navy blue. What I do care about is how do they walk, how do they ride, and how do they like look when they're on my foot? And if I was an Instagram girl, I'd do this and it would be on my foot, but I'm not an Instagram girl, I'm a YouTuber. It's not supposed to be a review. I'm a terrible reviewer of things. I generally like everything. I hate, hate putting cleats on for the first time. Especially if you're someone like me who runs the same pair of shoes for like five years, cleats never ever move, and you're just so used to that position, and you throw on a new pair of cleats and a new pair of shoes and everything just feels off. Feels all right. Okay, how do they look? Can't feel the, can't feel the cleats touching the ground. That's a, that's good. Looks good with pants on. Quick little cleat positioning test. Okay, way off. Okay. My left heel is on the chainstay and my right heel is on the spindle of the crank. There really only is one proper way to break in a pair of shoes, isn't there? And that is just to go out and beat the snot out of them, put them through their paces, and kind of gently force everything to get into where it needs to be. The act of riding and like going out and having a good time, that's the best part. The worst is like, as I've done, readjusting your cleats twice now, and dealing with like the hot spots that are currently, well, currently there, but I can feel them dissipating. So first, so good. I know what we're gonna go ride. Remember when I made that video for Dan when he was like in quarantine in Peru and I was like, I wanna ride this bike and like tough, difficult stuff but I had like a really hard gear on it and this bike was just kind of like just put together. Well, that's like right here. Well, I wanna try it again. Cause we've got still the winter gearing on it. The uh, tubeless Piano Racer Gravel King Plus clipped in. I can't remember if I was clipped in or not that video. Probably. Okay. Track lacrosse bike, lack of toe overlap. Casual SPDs, Piano Racer Gravel Kings, engage. 
Also, easier gearing. Not bad, not bad. Just my choice there. Oh yeah, tires are working good. Grip, tree, tree. Okay, there's a down tree up here. Let's see if that's a problem. No. Good. Okay. 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 Out over on the, it's very rooty in here. Stay high. This rock. Oh, not bad. Ooh, bit of slippage. Good slippage here. All right. Let's see if I can get down here. Oh yeah! Never did that before. Woo! It's possible I get a little too distracted, a little too easy. I do have an agenda I need to stick to. You wanna know the worst thing about riding over this bridge is? Coming up here somewhere. These things. They used to be wood before they made them metal. But when it's really windy coming across here, it's actually not so bad today. You'll be pedaling against the wind, kind of like staying upright by leaning into it. And then you get to this, and there's no wind. You feel like you're gonna fall, but it's so short that by the time you get out of it again, you feel like you're gonna die. Now, Dan was curious about what is actually on the other side of this, so we're about to find out. What is that? It? It's a long drop. And that concludes part one of two of the worst parts of going over this bridge on a bicycle. You know what? So far so good. These kinda, especially as they're starting to get a little dirtier, they're kind of reminiscent of a classic high top Vans, which I really like. Tiny bit of a bummer on the sizing for the, the 43s, they're like, they're like a little bigger than maybe I would like. Now that I've bought these ones, I feel a little more comfortable looking at some of the other like casual-ish looking shoes that are on the market. Most of them are marketed as like a mountain bike shoe, but you can find some that kind of have the same look. There's uh, two there from Louis Garneau. There's a pair from Specialized that like surprisingly, they're able to come up with like a very normal looking SPD shoe. And then what's the other brand? Oh, Shimano. So like if you are interested in having a, a casual, like easy to walk in, easy to go everywhere looking, pair of shoes uh, for yourself, similar to these DZRs even. Um, there's some link below the DZR site you can go to yourself. In the meantime, these are pretty good. I think later this week or like this month, we'll do the like, are these the perfect casual SPD shoes? The perfect all rounder SPD compatible shoe. And we'll go like skateboard and like run in them and stuff. Just completely put them to the test that they're like not designed for. Okay.